Well, it's Saturday morning. Um, this bike has been sitting here for about three days. A good, clean, overnight test. Um, only time will tell, you know. You, you gotta ride them, and when you ride them, they'll find any leaks that are still there uh, and momentarily not leaking. But anyway, uh, this bike is completely ready except for the rear chain. And um, let's see, what time is it? It's uh, not quite, oh, it's five to seven. And uh, so, and I think I hear, <laughs> here comes Kevin. Say good morning to Kevin and his, isn't that a pretty little car? I, I love that car. Uh, I do too, uh, if I can get in and out of it. Lucky, <laughs> what's up, pup? You know, when you gotta step down to get into your I car. Oh, 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 hello, hello, hello. Oh, 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 oh. There's old Spunky. There's Spunk. There's Spunky. There's the Spunker. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> look what arrived you yesterday. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put one of these on the white bike, and uh, the other one goes on to Fred. And uh, that's what we're going to do this morning. White bike for sure, and then put Fred up on the uh, lift and see what we can see. I have a new battery for him, for him, so maybe we'll spin up the motor today. And that's what's happening here on Griswold Road. So, isn't that cool? The sound you hear in the background is my neighbor's Lamborghini. <laughs> cool. Yep, there it is. So, yep, that's a Lamborghini. So, that's what we're doing. All right, we got the bike uh, with the rear end off the uh, lift. And uh, what we're going to do is attach the... Um, new chain to the old chain and pull it through, measure it, mark it, use the new chain to pull the old chain through, cut the new chain to length, and then use the old chain to pull the new chain through and hook it up. Theoretically, a five minute job. <laughs> <laughs> Little humor here, We there is no such thing. So that's where we are. We get to, Safety wire off now, bike in the air, and now we're gonna pop off the mask. I, I like this. I was gonna do this job, <laughs> <laughs> and Super K just jumped right in there. Can you get that one under it, or do you want this, this, this better one? Yeah, I probably need a thinner one. You can get it there eventually, but yeah. Why wrestle? This is why. Typically, is oh, that's thinner nice. Thinner ice, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Over the years, I've had more than one master link removal tool, and can you get it under there? No, not quite. Is that the right one? Yeah, it's the thin one. It's probably just not getting the right lever. Got it. Okay, you got it. Yeah. All right. Just needed to get the leverage. I think I might even still have one of those little red hammer ones somewhere around. Do a little show and tell. <laughs> it happens. I always buy the 110 link length uh -huh. because um, I think I'm still recording. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah, I always buy the 110 length 
chain because all the bikes I work on use the same chain and I can always cut these to length depending on what they need. Still focusing on that. Yep, cool. You ready? Mm -hmm. There we go. Easy peasy, then squeezy. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. We need to loosen these axles and move the wheel forward. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we're going to move the wheel all the way forward and then measure the length of the chain. All right, we loosened both sides and loosened the bolt on the um, disc. Uh, mount and now we're measuring the length of the new chain and we're going to mark it. So, just go here and that go in there. Mm -hmm. We need a. It always works out. I wish it'd be just one. There's no there. Right? Yeah. And that is. We take this one off, that leaves us this guy to make mm -hmm. that guy. Yep, we can tighten it up a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think we can get one more. I don't think so either. Let me know what happened. Okay. Wait, I'm going to cut it too short. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What? You know, that that was really, good. yeah, that makes more sense. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, okay, now. So, no, now this one right here? Yeah, I think so, because I think that will go right in there. Yeah, that should work fine. Okay. Yeah, we can tighten it a bit. Yep. Good. Okay. All right. This one back through. Really wants to get itself caught near here. Okay. And there it is. Good. All right. All right now. What do you cut it with? Well, uh, we're going to talk about that for a moment. Okay, so we marked the uh, cutting point, and that's right here with a little white drop, dot. I have a chain breaker. Which we are only going to semi use as soon as I find it. Now you gotta get the help to straighten this stuff up. That's the next part. <laughs> All that stuff needs to be organized. Okay, this is a really nice chain breaker. Heavy duty. And it'll theoretically go on here and punch those pins up. I don't make it do that. I take this over to the grinding wheel and grind the head off of this connecting link right here. And then I, <coughs> then I use the uh, chain breaker to push the pins out. So, just 
just easier. Alright, that makes life a lot easier. Do we have a good view of this? Yeah, we're pretty good. Et voilà. Say, hope we did it right. <laughs> yeah, that's always the question. Okay, yeah. When we get done, I'll tell you a cool chain breaker story. Let's <laughs> put it over here so we have some more slack to work with. There we go. All right. Bunch of little screwdriver. Uh, what do you use to put that clip on, this clip? That's a very good question. You usually a pair of long nose. Okay. Pop them on. Always with the rounded end in the in the direction of the, the, the chain, yeah. chain going there. Yep. Probably a really good reason. For, I'll use this. You know what? This is making it easier. Just to pop it right over the top. Yep. Um, probably some really good reason dating back to the days of cross country racing and oh, catching yeah. the chain in a bush and yep. popping it off that whole nine yards. All right. So we're going to adjust the chain now. And then uh, I'll put safety wire on that link. We'll be back. All right, the chain's in place. We're going to adjust the chain tension and the wheel alignment. I've shown you all this before, but I'll show it anyway for any new guys. This is a tool I made. It's a hook on one end and a little slidey thing on the other. That's a technical term, slidey thing. And we use it to measure distance from a known point to the center of the axle on the rear wheel. In this case, it'll probably be the, the uh, passenger peg mounts. Okay, so like so, we're going to go from up here, nice solid known point, down here, put your pointer in the middle of the rear axle on this side. Okay, so that's a known amount. Take the exact same thing over to the other side and check it. Okay, 
And then we adjust it for straightness and for um, tightness on the chain. The chain feels good right now. It's got about an inch up down. I don't know what we did, but it's perfect. <laughs> did it right on? <laughs> yeah, right on. <laughs> right, we'll snug the adjuster down and we'll do it again. Yeah. And we'll check it again. My adjuster is snug. Yeah, that's kind of snug. All right. I'm comfy with this, this amount of chain play over here. Yep. And that's right where you had it before. Okay, that's dead nuts on. Okay. All right, let's snug the axles and make sure nothing changes. Okay. <laughs> I get the big boy. No, 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 uh, it's not, it's got a long way to go in. Okay, long way oh, that's out. right, we pulled that one way out. Yeah, way out. And unfortunately, I don't have a ratchet. Oh, so okay. Where's the... Yeah, that's not... You got a brain for it. In the fridge? I don't think so. Alright. <coughs> give, give it a tap in mm -hmm. to where you feel it hit the inner. Yep. This side, and then we'll adjust that side. Okay, my side's still exactly where we left it. Okay. So you want to move yours, loosen that, and move your side out a little bit. Um, yeah, let's double check it. Actually, move it in just an in, end. just a little tad. Uh, let's see. Loosen the adjuster just a little bit and then we'll tap it forward. Okay. Tap the, use it, hit the adjuster. It's good. Check your. Yep. Okay. Damn, thanks. 
seem to be moving. Well, it's an excellent. It's an excellent. Yeah. See, it, is. <laughs> yeah. it is moving. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let me hold it all the way up. Okay. Yeah, just an anthem. Sure. Just a bit more. Just a bazillion. Yeah. Bazillionth of an inch. That's it. The proverbial. The proverbial billionth. Boom. Boom. Got it. All right. Now snug that, and I'll double check this side. Here. Yeah. Good. Now, uh, snug down your adjusters, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then that nine sixteenths bolt on the on the bottom of yep. that thing. Do. All right. He's going to tighten that down. I'm going to go get the safety wire, and we will safety wire that uh, master master link. All right, I'm going to show you the uh, safety wire that I just put on. It goes through the link. It doesn't protrude above the level of the pins. It doesn't go touch the teeth. It's completely rubber, rub free. And now when I spin the wheel, you'll hear that it's nice and quiet. No rubbing inside the, the uh, chain guard. Okay. And Let's put it down on the weight, weight the bike down, and see how the pitching uh, feels. <sighs> what do you think? Kind of loose, but I it's, don't know that that's. It's not excessive. Not bad. Loose. No, it's not bad. Okay. All right, let's leave that. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this point, um, basically the bike is done. We're going to take it down and put Fred up on the lift. What you found, John? Oh, the, the rubber? Yeah, the rubber. It's a little yeah. stiff, so okay. you get it to move. All right. All right. We be good. We be done. <laughs>